Hi, this is John, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm over here prepping my food for the week for the family, the proteins. And you've seen some of my other videos how I've knocked out protein on this grill. Uh, chicken, sausage links, I have some burgers going on in a little bit as well. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. When I was cooking this up, I had to get my son to get the camera because it hit me all of a sudden. Men over 50. When I think about, just like I trained yesterday, when I think about preparation, the pre-workout preparation before I work out, and being 54, I have a little bit more of a uh, thoughtfulness about it, let's say. So I want to be able to train hard when I do train, and I want to set the environment just so, so that when I do go to work out, I'm not being hampered by a lack of sleep or from poor nutrition or anything like that. So today I'm going to talk to you about one of the big, big things that I do in any given workout. And this might seem pretty innocuous or pretty small to some of you, but before I go and I work out, I am thinking in terms of what do I have to do to be able to train as hard as possible? What do I have to do to be able to lift? a decent amount of weight today for a decent number of repetitions with some fiery intensity. So hopefully it's one of those days because there are just some days you just don't have it. But listen, guys, here's the thing. When I do go to work out, let's say I'm deadlifting today. So I head on into the gym and if my goal is to pull 405 pounds 10 times. So when I hit the gym and I start to warm up a little bit with some light exercises here or there, depending on the body parts that I'm training with those deadlifts that day, I'll go ahead and I'll warm up a little bit on everything. And I don't care if it takes 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. In the middle of winter, it might take 15, 20 solid minutes to get this engine fully revving. So when I do that, I warm up really, really well. It's not just as simple as that, though. I warm up like a power lifter. Power lifters have it down right. They don't exhaust the muscles. So, if I'm, my goal today is to deadlift 405 for 10 reps, that's four plates for 10 reps, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to step up into the gym and put one plate on the bar. I'll take that one plate, I'll knock out an easy set of 10 reps. And then, I might do that twice, just to get really, really loose and feel it. It's not a heavy weight, it's less than, uh, it's, a, it's about 25, 30% of what I could normally do, right? So, I do an easy couple of sets of 10. I'll slap on another 45. I'll do five reps, just five. I'll slap on another 45. Now I'm up to 315. I'll do just three reps. And now I'm ready to go. I throw on the four plates, pull the trigger and go. So unless something along the way doesn't feel right, then I would use wisdom in deciding maybe I'll do a lighter weight today for more repetitions. But that's pretty much it. Those warm-ups are done just like power lifters would do. They don't do a ton of repetitions. The only change I make for it from what they do is I like taking that first very light weight and doing a couple of sets of 10. Get the joints really warm, blood flow, let my body know what's coming. And in my head, it's 10 reps. I'm already locking in 10 reps right from the very beginning. So that's it. So men over 50. The best pre-workout tips that I can come up with. Hi, this is John, and welcome back to Mr. America Heart. You can see I'm over here preparing my food for the week, the protein for the week. And it struck me, as it did earlier, to give you guys, you men over 50, some of my quick pre-workout tips and some of the things that I do, being 54 myself, to prepare for some good, intense workouts. And uh, one of them that I mentioned before was, you know, proper warm-ups and how I go about doing proper warm-ups. However, another big one is sleep. When I know that I'm training, and I don't train every day, but when I know that I'm training, it's more like an event that I want to be prepared for. So to be prepared for it properly, I know in the days leading up to that workout that I have to be fully rested. So, you should be getting 
whatever you know your sleep number to be, whether it's six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half hours, nine hours, whatever it is. However, I do realize that a lot of the men uh, in our age range tend to have the beginnings of, a lot of you guys have had the beginnings of some prostate issues and things like that that keep you up at night by uh, having you get up and go to the bathroom, you know, multiple times a night. Now, me personally, I don't have any of that. I'm pretty annoyed if I have to wake up even one time <laughs> to go to the bathroom. So, in general, I don't experience those issues. So, as far as the prostate goes, uh, I'm sure that you've already consulted with your doctor. Everything from saw palmetto to whatever the doc may prescribe that you can get a good night's sleep and not have to deal with that prostate. But in some cases that ends up being an issue. And unfortunately, you gotta deal with it until it's actually dealt with. But for the meanwhile, aside from a prostate issue, here's the thing. Do everything you can to get as much sleep as possible at all times. That's when you're recovering, that's when you're growing, that's when your body is changing the most. Without proper sleep, your body's in a constant breakdown cycle. And that's going to damage things. That's going to make joints hurt. That's going to make damage to the tendons, to the lig even ligaments. Your body's not recovering properly. So, what am I saying? I'm saying know what your sleep number is. Know that if you do need eight hours a night of sleep, that you're going to do whatever, can, whatever you can to get it. And if you're not getting eight hours at night, then you better be getting your six and a half, whatever you're getting at night, and then scheduling some nap time somewhere in the day so that you can get that recovery in there. Because without it, all you're doing is handicapping yourself. So, possibly the best pre-workout tip that I can give you for men over 50, get your rest. If you're not getting it straight through at night, like I do, I'm blessed to be able to do that. If you're not, then find ways to get it in. Schedule naps during the day, even if they're short ones. But whatever you can do to get that extra sleep to help with your recovery and for your growth. That's it. I'm emphasizing it so hardcore, it's not even funny. Sleep, by far and away, number one. From my heart to you, John Hart. Hey, do you want John to be your personal trainer? Get your training and diet managed online by Mr. America himself. Go to MrAmericaHeart.com. It's in the link right here below in the video's description.